you know someone who's deceived by sin? Have you ever heard someone say, I can't believe that a loving God would ever send someone to hell? Do you know that he doesn't send us to hell? We have a choice. We have a choice of what we can do. And we're going to read about that choice today on this five minute Friday. The book of Hebrews, chapter 3, verses 5 through 19. And Moses verily was faithful in all his house as a servant for a testimony of those things which were to be spoken after, but Christ as a son over his own house, whose house are we if we hold fast the confidence and the rejoicing of the hope firm unto the end. Wherefore, as the Holy Ghost saith, Today, if you will hear his voice, harden not your hearts as in the provocation, in the day of temptation or trial in the wilderness, when your fathers tempted me or tested me, proved me and saw my works forty years. Wherefore I was grieved or angry with that generation and said they do always err in their heart or go astray and they have not known my ways. So I swear in my wrath they shall not enter into my rest. Take heed brethren lest there be in any of you an evil heart of unbelief in departing from the living God. But exhort one another daily while it is called today lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. For we are made partakers of Christ, or we have become partakers of Christ, if we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast unto the end. While it is said today, if you will hear his voice, harden not your hearts as in the provocation or rebellion. For some, when they heard, did provoke or rebel, Howbeit not all that came out of Egypt by Moses. But with whom was he grieved forty years? Was it not with them that had sinned, whose carcasses or corpses fell in the wilderness? And to whom swore he that they should not enter into his rest, but to them that believed not? So we see that they could not enter in because of unbelief. God proved himself over and over and over again to the children in the wilderness, the children of Israel. He has proven to us also over and over again of his righteousness, his holiness, his goodness, his love and mercy. He sent Jesus to die for our sins and all we have to do is accept it. We have to call upon the Lord Jesus, confess with our mouths, that we have sinned and need a savior. If we believe that Jesus is the son of God and we trust him, then we will be saved. But it's those who choose to walk in their own ways. We read in verse 10 and 11, how they always resisted God. They, they wanted to do things their own way. They were always rebellious. They didn't want someone telling them what to do. He wants us to love him, to trust him, to follow him. He does not want us to have a heart of unbelief. Yes, we may have fears and doubts at times, but we must go to God and acknowledge that. I need you, Jesus. I need you to help me here. I have faith, but I don't have a whole lot of faith. And he will use what we have and he will help us if we ask him. But we see in these verses, their heart was hardened against God. They did not want to listen to his ways. They did not want to obey him. They wanted to do what they wanted to do. And because of that, they could never enter into his rest. They had eternal punishment waiting for them. Friends, this is such a serious topic and it's not something that's super popular in our culture today but i'm telling you friends it's the truth seek the lord while he may be found call upon him listen to him and do not let your heart be hardened do not be deceived by sin thank you for joining me for this five minute friday
God bless you.